Hello there, Random125, and today I am going to be doing a video I haven't done in a while, which is a diorama video, and uh, I'm going to be showing my Evil Dead and what I have on it um, since the last time uh, I showed it, and um, what like ones I have planned, because in this summer I've been doing... Uh, you know, some, so far, some short films and some talk on my cosplays I plan on doing. And, you know, I want to do more than just that. And to give me something else to do, I'm going to try to do some dioramas, um, which is always fun to do for me. And I like making dioramas, especially when they come out good and I don't really have too much of a struggle. But also, when I fail at something, it's okay because it gives me a better idea some of the time. So, and not to do it again. So, uh, anyway, uh, here is, I'll just lean my tripod a little closer and, uh, show you that it's not much different from the last time I showed, because I was pretty much done, but, you know, I got some, I got these books still, and, uh, some different, so, here, uh, I've done reviews on these, um, Evil Dead, and two, NECA, Figures and as you may know, uh, I did switch these two hands around so it's movie accurate. Cause he does not have, Ash doesn't have the evil hand when he's Dead Eye Ash. So he actually has no hand. So I switched their arms around, and these could be in here, and and I can put the uh, stuff like this stuff uh, on the ground. It is not like you know glued or anything. I can move it wherever. And, um, also, still the same, uh, I just have the floor go to here, because that's where I take pictures, because there's really no point about over here. And then, also, uh, I'm going to make a table, and use this side, and make it about, uh, probably about that tall. Oh, sorry, I need a, so, probably about that tall, so I need to get some legs and glue that on. Um, so that's what I'll be working on there. And, um... Still, here's my hero ash. Still in good condition. As usual, I keep my uh, figures in good condition as much as I can. So, over here is here's something new that I have. Is a, uh, a this like cabinet, not really cabinet, but drawers. And I have the Necronomicon that sits on there, and the tape recorder, and then. So, there we go. So, that's where I put that. And, yes, this is not, if you notice, exactly how the movie um, one is. But, uh, you know, to me, it's close enough. And I'm happy with it. Um, the only things I need to do is some more, get some more, like, uh, stuff to put around that's from that. And I also need to find a way to put the cellar right here which I'm probably just gonna get like a cut into this and put a piece of wood that's the same and then put a chain and then I also need to board up these windows um... need to uh... make that table like I was saying and then that's pretty much it and then I'll just you know keep it like that and use it and I might I talked about this before in my other videos on this I might, um, you know, do something about this, maybe paint this a different color instead of yellow with the thing on there, um, but, you know, that's, uh, some other time. So, now I will talk about a diorama, two dioramas that I have planned, uh, more like three, I'll talk about three of them. One of them I know I'm doing, the other two are p kind of plans that I'll probably get stuff for. So, uh, here that is. Alright, uh, so, as you may know, I've made these, uh, dioramas a while back right here on um, this one right here and then this one uh right here which i'll show um for were for my wolverine versus hulk stop motion which i don't do stop motion more but uh you know if you want to check that out you can so these are just like real quick not really completely well made like the floor kind of comes off right there and you know this one just i just take my action figure photography in these um this one right here i um is my favorite one uh because this one through time got damaged as you can see it's not perfect um but uh you know i like the size of this one better but uh, this one right here this is my interrogation room 
uh, diorama. So I got some blood, and this one just still in really good shape. And you can fold it up, and since I take pictures on the washer and dryer, which is good lighting, I have a magnet in the bottom that makes this go completely flat. So it's not like puffed up like this or anything. So that's how that works. Uh, so, yeah, pretty proud of that one there. And uh, hope to make more, definitely. And uh, here is the other one, which is the other Hulk versus Wolverine um, one. And then it has an open and closed door. And this one, over time, has got damaged, as you can see up here. It's hard to come off. It's starting to, uh, you can see, like, the cardboard coloring. And then there's some dried up clay from sticking my action figures there. And taking pictures and stuff, which never works out. Don't do that, by the way. Um, and then here's the hole for where Wolverine went in. And also when I do take pictures with the door open, I normally like take like this one, which is the same color, and put it behind it. Like, uh, probably something like that, but more like flat. So it looks like it's, there's another room in there, instead of there just being a white background. So, here is my idea. Uh, Alright, so um, here is my plan. Uh, so I have, I'll tell you a little bit, um, what I'm planning on doing. Is, oh, and also, my Evil Dead 2 diorama. I'm going to put batteries in this and put this above it so it has lighting where it sits. Um, but, anyway, uh, this is my book of just like things I do, like cosplays and stuff like that, and just drawings and all that and film scripts and ideas and all that kind of stuff but uh, what I'm doing is a Weapon X Wolverine diorama and I do have a diagram kind of drawing in here and I just have this Wolverine just for reference this is, about, this is the size of the Weapon X one which I have the Weapon X Wolverine Marvel Legends on my birthday list and uh, I'm just going to assume that I will get it because it's actually one of the cheapest things on my birthday list but uh, anyway um so, well, here I have a drawing of Wolverine, Astonishing Wolverine, and so here is the uh, diorama um, that I plan on doing right here. I'll lower this so you can see it better. Um, what the plan is, is uh, this right here is just more of an idea, but this I plan to do most of this. And like right here, I have like a syringe and some things. I might not do that, but there'll be some stuff on the table. Um, if I somehow can find a computer that sets up, I'll use that. And then a we'll monitor, I guess it is. And maybe make something out of foam. I didn't draw that, but like the actual computer. Then put like screens on the wall of like, I don't know, heart rate, vitals, and then like brain activity or something like that. And maybe show his adamantium skeleton, like print that out and put it on there. Then here's the thing that comes with the Marvel Legends Wolverine, and I'll have a uh, use straw to do that right there, and then have an electric box that goes down, maybe an outlet. And over here, this would just, like I said, this will be more of an idea. I plan on doing all this from here on. This, I don't know exactly what I'm going to use for this. I know I'm going to do the straw thing again and paint it, and then do the, uh, you know, um, sorry, the, uh, electric outlet so as you can see Weapon X the Wolverine diorama so that's my plans for that uh, the size that I'm going to make it would be about um, probably probably roughly the size of this um, as you can see so something like that yeah so it'll be about like that size um, right there and I might make it a little, like the wall, probably be a little bit lower, but uh, that's it. And then the, maybe walls might be a little closer, but it'll be approximately about this size right here. So that's my plans for that. And my next um, plans is, my other ones I plan on doing is why I have this Punisher sitting here. Is I plan on making, I want to get that new Deadpool, because they're making an, like an X-Men... Marvel Legends Infinite series, and I kind of plan on making a uh, Punisher and Deadpool arsenal where I keep a bunch of weapons in there for them. And I'll use this Punisher, and also in that wave, they have a new Punisher which looks better than this one. I might, if I get that, I'll use that one or this one. 
just depends. So I just like this weapon right here, or, you know, just any weapons I have like over here. Um, I have some like, just different weapons and stuff like that. Uh, like this and you know things like that I'll use and like some bullets. So I just put that in my uh, and then my other diorama I plan, which is, I don't really have anything to, you know, show, just gonna talk about it, I guess, is like, just like a room, like, make it just look like a room I can put anybody in there, maybe like Deadpool, sitting down watching TV, I'll put like a TV in there, stuff like that. That one is the least one I'm thinking about doing, but, you know, it's a plan, so I'll do that. So, uh, hope you enjoyed, and like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more, uh, you know, videos, and once my birthday comes, I'll be doing some reviews on stuff I get, if it's review-worthy. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for watching.